The next one was, should you live with someone before you get married? This is such a good question. Because you really always say like, you shouldn't it. That's what you've always been like, yes, you should. Yeah. You, that was what you believe. You've always said it kills the excitement. So I always thought, don't live with someone before marriage. Like, I think that's the step you should take after marriage. But then I went through a phase when I started living with Cowslick where I thought maybe I was wrong because like now I live with him, I see a lot of things that I never saw before. And like, it's important for me to have known these before I get married. Yeah. yeah. But then now I'm kind of going back to like the way I thought before. I'm a very confused person. Do you know what it is? Like when you live with someone before you marry them, then you know what you're going to get yourself into. If you don't, it's a fucking surprise. It's like an yeah. Easter egg. You don't know what's inside. But not if like, is it not? When you spend so much time with that person, you're going on holidays with them, no. you're always at their place, you've got your overnight bag basically there, you've got stuff at their place all the I time. I don't think it's the same at all. Gingerbeard was literally at our place with me like four or five days a week. He didn't live there. Four mm. or five days a week at our place. But when you move in together, that step to seriousness, like that level of seriousness where you share a home and there is no escape... Right. It's just like, but it's not that far off different. Like, no, it's not. Because I didn't feel that much of a massive, oh my God. I mean, when he, I moved the in. way that, like, I'd say Kowslik is in his house now that I live with him is very similar to the way he was when he used to stay at mine. Yeah. But you know, now when you meet someone and they say, oh, like, I'm getting married. Oh, and then you're like, oh, wow, are you? But like, yeah. Like, do you guys live together? And she's like, no, don't you look at that like... No, just recently, just at the event, I'm, I met a girl and she was like, yeah, our relationship's amazing. I'm, we're always together. We're on holidays and stuff. Like, obviously, the next step would be for them to get married. And she was like, I was like, oh, you're going to like move, move in with each other? She was like, no, I'm waiting for after marriage. Oh, wow. Yeah. And I was like... That's a traditional way of doing things. And I was like, you know what? I, I like that. Yeah. I kind of liked it. And... Another thing, I was watching um, the ultimatum and one of the couples, she wanted an, an ultimatum. She wanted, she wanted, she gave an ultimatum and she was like, you know, I want you to, you know, propose to me and we need to get married now. We've been together for so long. Yeah. And he was like, okay. And then basically he was like, he was going to basically propose to her at the end. It was obvious. Mm -hmm. And then he was like, okay, so once I propose, like, we're going to live together. She was like, no, not even Ooh. after you propose. She was like, not even if we're engaged. She was like, because if we get engaged and you propose and I come and live with you, you're going to long out the wedding. Uh, and you're going to keep longing it out and I just want to get married. I want that wedding day. So basically, for you to have me full time living with you, you have to marry me. That's a prize. Like, yeah. um, do you know what I mean? Like, to get that from me, you have to put a ring on it. And it is a massive prize because once a woman lives with you, the way she looks after the home, the way she looks after you, the coffees, the breakfast, the, the you know, keeping the house clean and cozy and lighting candles, this all comes with playing house. 100%. And, and like, like, here we are giving out for free, do you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, why would... But at the same time, yeah, when I was living out and Gingerbread was staying with me, fuck that, I was paying the rent. Yeah. I was still cleaning his clothes, I was still ironing his clothes, I was oh. still still doing all the food shopping, the water shopping, the household items. But initially, that's, that's the reason why... I'm paying fucking rent. And like, he's just going to his mum's house and like, living his best life. Well, that's why no. we ended up, that's why we ended up moving in why with our boyfriends. I? Because me and Mandy lived together and then Cowslick and Gingerbread, obviously they're friends. They used to come to our place all the time. And we literally day. paid for everything we in paid, the house. We paid for all the groceries. And they're always rent. there. We paid for all the rent groceries and they were there all the time. And we thought, you know what? Why are we doing this? We might as well not pay rent anymore. We were paying a lot of rent. That place was expensive. Mad. And we thought, what the fuck are we doing? Well, no, it happened like Gingerbread was moving out and like, like he was getting his own place, he was moving out as mum and dad's. And so I was like, well, Anna, like, I'm he because he asked me, Mandy, why don't you move in with me? So I was like, I'm going to move in with Gingerbeard. And then Kowzik asked Anna, move in with yeah. me. And that was it. We were like, you might as well. Well, I kind of was like, I'm moving in with you. Yeah. That's what happened. I was like, I'm not doing this anymore. Why am I doing paying all Yeah, this it doesn't make sense. Like one year that was happening. Yeah. Like, no. But they, like I'm saying, like, they, that if I could turn back time and if I could have my own place and like I don't know if I would have made that move do you know what I mean mm. because maybe it does I think like now being with Gingerbeard he like Gingerbeard is textbook kind of guy that would long out I think like proposals and marriage and things like that especially when he's getting everything he wants exactly why would they propose we, we live with them we do all the like wifey shit maybe not as much we've cut down only because you I've know, cut down. we've cut down we like met their family. I'm like, today I'm going to, to his mum's house. I'm chilling with his mom. Like, we do all that. Why? What's the difference so, once you put a ring on it? 
Because, like, I will leave if you yeah. don't. But they That's don't see it. that. They don't see They that. do. Like, they literally do. I don't know. I don't think if there's it, any type of pressure on Kalzik right now. No, I don't. Think, I don't even. I don't know if there's any pressure. If I felt like I was with someone for a certain amount of time, where it started to feel uncomfortable for me, and I felt like I deserved like that massive gesture and symbolism and like expression of commitment, like then I would do what I would say it, and I would be like, I've, I'm not feeling. I never wanted valued. to be that girl. That girl. I, yes, that's the that's the best point you made. What I wanted was it to be like the other way around, like. I want to do this. I'm dying to propose to you. I'm yeah. dying to marry you. Not, oh, she's given me basically an ultimatum. I have to. That's shit. So shit. So shit. It should come from like the man's soul. It should yeah. come from the heart. Yeah, exactly. But then again, like if I if I have a plan, my plan is to not say it, not mention it, not do anything and just know within myself, like that, yeah. do you know what I mean? Like yeah. knowing myself that I have a time limit and if it gets close to that time, I'm like, look, I don't feel like it's moving forward. So I'm yeah. going to take a step back and I'm going to move out. Yeah. 